Hey everyone, this is just going to be a basic tutorial on the uses of the App Store. Uh, I know a lot of people um, who are new to Macs and iPods, iPhones, all this technology may not know how to use the App Store, App Store exactly, so um, I'm just going to go through the basics of using the App Store. Alright, so let's open the App Store up here. Now, right away at the top here, you notice a, a number of tabs you can click on. One is Featured, Top Charts, Categories, Purchases, and Updates. Um, the Categories brings you into the different categories of apps, such as Games and Business, Entertainment, Education, um, many, many, many different categories. Top Charts are the top 25 free and top 25 most paid for apps on the App Store and you can um, sort that according to categories as well and uh, featured as well is are the um, uh, newest apps that have been popular in the market and then updates and purchases are just uh, where you see your purchased uh, apps and where you update your recent ones so as you see here, as I noticed, um, right away when you open the App Store, it comes right to the Featured tab. Um, it shows uh, the what the most popular thing from the App Store is usually. it's Right now it's uh, the new operating system, Mountain Lion. Under here we have New and Noteworthy. So these are the newest uh, popular apps that have been out, both free and paid for. You can also open that up to See All and sh it'll show you the... Um, free ones and the ones you have to pay for. Uh, you also see quick links so you can go to your account, uh, you can redeem uh, coupons that you may have or gift cards uh, or you can go to support where that actually brings you to a help tab. Uh, it also shows you how much money you have left on your account. I don't have that much because I just got uh, Mountain Lion but 61 cents. <laughs> um, down here you see different tabs that you can click on and then you go up here and you can see all categories and if we hit that drop down menu we can see um, all the different categories that this can be sub broken down into um, so we could see what's new and noteworthy in business developer tools education anything music news photography weather uh, you name it so um, that is basically the uh, home page of the, fe the featured tab and as you go down, you can see what the top paid on the side here, the 10 top paid, 10 top free, 10 top grossing apps. Um, you can also click to see all of those, or you can click into top charts, which we'll see in a second here. And that will take you to all of the top charts that you can break it down into. Um, you also see what is, uh, this is a um, category for what's popular uh, on the App Store. Um, these are more specific to the Mac, the new MacBook Pro with Retina, uh, which just came out uh, a month or two ago, I think. Um, and so we'll go back to the top here and we'll click on Top Charts. Now, in Top Charts, we see the top paid apps once again. You can go into that category and see all of those from top to bottom. Uh, the top free apps, same. Uh, just go in and view and top grossing so the ones that take in the uh, most money or the most downloads. Um, you also see the different uh, categories all on the side here again business developer tools education games finance all of that uh, you can break down the top charts categories in all of these so top business top developer tools you name it. Um, as we come over here we go to categories like I was saying before. We see all the different categories that we've been seeing all along uh, and it shows one of the top um, apps in that category as its front logo. Um, I'll just go into one here, we'll go into games. So now when you get into games uh, you see the basic basically the same uh, tabs, it keeps it kind of the same kind of theme so we see new and noteworthy uh, and you can see all of those um, we see the more popular ones and you see the uh, it shows you different kind of popular uh, categories at different times here 
they kind of update that accordingly. Now as we get to the top here, we see uh, more quick links, so you can go to different um, subcategories of games, um, or you can change the actual category from there again. Uh, we're not going to do that, just because you get into the pretty much the same kind of things in all of them, um, the same kind of uh, subcategories, new and noteworthy, what's hot, and uh, all that other good stuff. We also see the top paid games over on the side here and the top free games over on the side here as well as the top grossing and then here are all the categories of games that you can go into just to make it a little easier for yourself whether you like action games, adventure games, racing, puzzle, you name it. Now I'll go over to the purchases tab. So when you get into purchases you can see all the different purchases you've made and the dates that you purchased them at. Um, so here you can see that I purchased uh, OSX Mountain Lion on July 25th. Uh, this is just a game and it was free and I downloaded it on July 30th. Um, and different apps, Remote Mouse, uh, Screen Snake, uh, this is a cleaner for your computer, uh, just a menu tab for Facebook, different things that I've downloaded. And you can see how it says update, that uh, means that Remote Mouse needs an update, and there's a few of those, or install, which means they were installed, but I deleted them, but they're still downloaded on the computer. As you can see, um, Mountain, Mountain Lion was already downloaded and installed, but it remains there in case you wipe your computer. Um, as we get into updates, over on the side here, you can see all the available updates for the different apps that need updating. Uh, so, as you can see, there's an update available for iMovie, free memory, uh, the cleaner that I have for my computer, my Facebook menu tab, iPhoto, and uh, I should probably update those to get them to their current versions, because it doesn't take up too much space, and uh, it's really great to have the new technology. Um, there's also a function up here called Update All. Uh, if you want to just easily update all of your uh, apps that need updating automatically without having to scroll through them, you can just click up here and uh, download your update for your app. Um, as you notice up here, there is also a search bar. Uh, the search bar basically is used for when you want to search for a specific app or a specific genre without having to go searching for it. Uh, so say you wanted to search for Facebook, enter it in the search bar. Um, so as you can see, it brings up all the different apps that are associated with Facebook. Uh, you see menu tab for Facebook, Facebook Lite, um, notifications for Facebook show up on your desktop. Um, there's an actual Facebook app that you can get. Um, and different apps that also work in conjunction with Facebook. So old booth photography, when you take a picture with it, it works in Facebook as an editor. And Facebook might show up in the title or it might show up in the description. It might have the same kind of genre. Uh, regardless, it will be related to the apps that show up in your search panel, regardless of what it is. I'm now going to show you how to download and install an app onto your desktop. So say we wanted to download, hmm, let's find a free one here. Say we wanted to download tabs. We will click on the Tabs app title. Now once we get into Tabs, we see um, a basic description of what it is, and you can drop that menu down to see more of the features of, of it. Um, and it also shows you what's new in the updated version of this app. Um, you also get a few pictures of the app, so you can scroll through those and see them accordingly. And uh, you can also view ratings, customer ratings, this one doesn't have any customer ratings, and reviews. Um, or you can rate it yourself. Um, now, if you want to download this app, you would click on the free, you would click install app. And then if you have an Apple ID, that is the only way you can download and install apps from the App Store. So. It would bring up your Apple ID. You could see that my ID is already typed in here. And then you would just type into your password and it will automatically install onto your desktop once it is finishing downloading. 
So that's all for that tutorial. I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope you learned a little something. Thank you very much.